This music. Yeah, man, it's a good weekend just to hit the road. Jump on a motorbike, let the wind flow through your hair. You don't need a helmet. Put on a heater. Oh, God. Throw a heater in your mouth. Suck in some of that nicotine. Just hit the open road. Let your f- thoughts just flow through your mind, Chelsea. This, we got to have new music every day. Double D is killing it here. Yeah, I imagine myself walking up to the plate, putting mm-hmm. my eye black on, you know, calling my shot, slow mm-hmm. motion, me wiggling the bat, and then I'll probably strike out. But it was a nice montage, walk up to the plate. It was in mm-hmm. slow motion. Yeah, I love this music. I imagine myself on the back of a motorcycle. I have no <laughs> on business. On the back of being, a motorcycle? Well, just driving. You're not even right. the main See, character? No, no, no. I'm in the sidecar. <laughs> I'm in the sidecar. Okay. They put me in this sidecar because look at me. I mean, come on. If you're watching us on Twitch, just go to twitch.tv slash BetQL. You can see what I look like. You're like, this guy does not belong on a bike. So they put me in the sidecar and then we we pull into a bar, like a biker bar, right? And I'm wearing a leather jacket, which isn't really a cool leather jacket. I'm just trying to fit in. And then I walk in and everyone turns at me and says, buddy, you're about to get your ass kicked. Get out of here. That That's how that would go for me. No, how it would go, you would walk into the bar with your leather jacket and somebody mm-hmm. would say, some woman would say, is that a woman's jacket? I think Certain- I saw that at H&M. Jenks, are you wearing a woman's coat? And you would be like, maybe. And then you look at the inseam and sure enough, it has like the piping for a woman's chest. <laughs> that would probably happen. Someone would come over, grab the back of my neck and then pull up the jacket and say, this says forever 21. Get the hell out of here. This is a lady small. (laughs) Sir, (laughs) this is a teenage small. You've got to be bigger than a buck 40 to come in here and have a brew with the biking crew. Yeah, that's how that would end for me. But I guess the the broader point is Double D bringing great music. So I will not be going into a biker (laughs) bar this weekend or ever, but we like the music Double D, so keep that going. This is the Daily Tip from BetQL presented by BetMGM. Great to have you with us on a Friday as we get you closer and closer to the weekend. Chelsea, coming up next to BetQL Daily, the Joes and Aaron discuss how the road team won all three games in the NBA last night to close out their series. And if you missed our discussion about the Packers and once again, how they refuse to draft Aaron Rodgers any help. Download and subscribe to The Daily Tip wherever you get your podcasts. All right, Chelsea, I got to do my part. You've been carrying the load this week, bringing home your best bets. Mine have been eh. So let's go 2-0 tonight and find out who we have the most faith in today. Today's best bets. Chelsea? Yeah, for me, I with the Mm. Memphis Grizzlies to close out the series tonight against the Timberwolves. Listen, in game six, it's a little different than regular season trends. You need a team to step up. You need the stars to shine, and you need a team to close it out. And for me, I have way more faith in the Grizzlies to hold on to a lead than the Timberwolves. We've already seen this story. The Timberwolves have blown two games in which they had huge leads. Pat Bev was talking trash. Carl Anthony Mm -hmm. Towns was going, shh. And then Ja Morant happened. Ever since he said too small to Pat Bev, he scored 13 straight points en route to Grizzlies win. So looking at the trends in this, when we talk about game sixes being a little bit different, since 2016, road favorites in game sixes are 12-2, and two, both straight up and against the number, including 3-0 and last night. So I think the favorites get the job done here. I'm taking the Grizzlies on the money line. They're the better overall team and the team I have way more faith in we're closing out this series. Let's go Grizz. Chelsea, I'm impressed that you're going basketball instead of baseball, but I like that pick. I am on the Grizz as well. You know, I'm going to go back to the old reliable betting on hockey tonight, and this is right at my threshold. We got the Panthers visiting the Habs in Montreal, and the Panthers are the highest scoring team in the NHL. They average 4.14 goals per game. The Canadians' defense is just awful. They give up 3.89 goals per game. But here's the thing I'm banking on, Chelsea. It's really early in the morning, and a lot of times you're not quite sure which goalies are going to be in net because that can change before game time or or sometimes it becomes official during a morning skate. But it looks like both teams are going with their backup goalies. That means even more scoring and the over is hit in Montreal's last four games. You know me, I hate these six-and-a-half point totals even though it's juiced to the over so i'm gonna lay a little juice here because i don't want to get 
burned by the hook. Give me the alternate spread of six. Over six goals, it's minus 150 at BetMGM. Let's get a winner with the stick and puck and go 2-0. and Where's that eight ball? Holy crap. Magic eight ball. Oh. That's right, Peter Griffin. We have a magic eight ball that we use every single day on this show. Is he going to tail our bets or is he going to fade them? That is the question. So Ooh. magic eight ball, let's start with my pick, the Memphis Grizzlies. On the money line, let's shake you up and see what you have to say. Eight ball says, my reply is no. Finally, this eight ball has been on your side for like three weeks. Yesterday, I mentioned that I thought you had one of those rigged eight balls because the eight ball kept coming home and supporting you. I'm glad to know that eight ball can be fair once in a blue moon. I like that he's fading you, I have to say. This is not the NBA draft where, you know, like the ping pong balls are frozen or whatever the conspiracy (laughs) theory is. So, now that we have that out of the way, Magic 8-Ball, do we like Jenks' pick, which is an alternate total of six and taking the over? Do we like it, 8-Ball? Don't roll your eyes like very subtle. You're just so happy and proud that you remembered that. 8-Ball says, most likely. Oh, that's, you know what? After riding in that sidecar and being a wuss, it's glad to be back in control again. It looks like I intimidated the 8-Ball. He heard me talking and said, uh, I got to give him a win here. So I like hearing that. If you want to watch Chelsea, by the way, shake the eight ball up and give the eight ball answers. All you have to do is go to twitch.tv slash betql. Oh, she's showing it off right now. That is twitch.tv slash betql. You'll be glad you did. Very well done, Chelsea. (laughs) What what are your leads? All right. I am going to go with the Angels today at Plus Money. Very small plus money. Even money for the LA Angels on the road at the White Sox. The White Sox have been really disappointing lately. If you look at the White Sox over their last few games, it's been tough to watch. One in nine straight up in their last 10 games. And then looking at the opposite side, the Angels have been one of the best hitting teams in all of baseball. In fact, they lead the majors in slugging and on base percentage. So you couple that with the fact that they have one of their best pitchers going today, Noah Syndergaard, 2-0 with a 212 ERA. And plus, the sample size is big. We all know that Noah Syndergaard is a good pitcher. So you get this hot offense that's playing well against one of the best pitchers in baseball. Yeah, I'll take the Angels at even money going against the White Sox. I know Lucas Giolito has been good too, but I still don't trust this White Sox team. And anytime you can get a good team for even money – I think you got to go with it. And plus, the Angels have actually been good on the road this season. Five and two on the road. So let's go Angels and the Halos for my other bet of the day. I love that pick. I actually think the wrong team is favored here. And I think G. Lito is going to be on a pitch count because he just came off the IL. Angels are just playing such good baseball. I love that pick at even money. My other pick, Chelsea, this is my lean. I'm going to go over seven between the Phillies and the Mets. Now, I know you have Tyler McGill for the Mets, Aaron Nola for the Phillies, but I think we're getting some value here based on the fact that both of these guys were tremendous last time out. I don't think that lasts here. McGill was great, but that was against Arizona, which is absolutely putrid. Nola was nearly perfect against the Brewers. The Brewers sometimes have issues with that lineup, and Nola's not going to be perfect again. When you look at these lineups in particular, Phillies are third in batting average thus far in Major League Baseball. The Mets are fourth. That Philly defense is suspect as well. I think this total is low it's juice to the over minus 120 at bad mgm going over seven between the phillies and the mets do you like that chelsea yeah i think i like a phillies team total too like this isn't okay. going to be an official play but over two and a half runs is minus 160 which is a little juice but we've seen this phillies lineup really come to life in the past few days and they're sleep- seeing the ball well they scored a ton of runs in that series against the rockies and i'm not completely sold on tyler mcgill Yeah, he's been good, but at some point, I think he's going to give up some runs. So I think the Phillies are the team to do it. Let's do your BetQL five-star best bet and check in with the Donkster. For insight, analysis, historical trends, and more five-star best bets, all you have to do is download the BetQL app. Chelsea, you're not going to believe it. You and the Donkster are on the same side tonight. What's that, Donkster? What are you saying? What's going through that brain of yours? Let me ride that donkey, donkey. Let me ride that donkey, donkey. Let me ride that donkey, donkey. I, 
I not I don't want to see you dance. You're a donkey. You can barely you're a you're a burro. You're a slow donkey. Don't act like you're dancing and partying in the studio down there by yourself because you want a chalky bet like that. There's nothing worse donkster than a cocky better. Chelsea back me up on this. Yeah, I think somebody's celebrating the weekend a bit too early. Donkey, we mm. still have 2 minutes left in this show. So, focus. Stop dancing. You had one good night where you won a bet of, what, minus 225 on the Yankees against the Orioles. Mm -hmm. However, yeah, we're both on the Grizz tonight. So You were on the same side. And, of course, the Donkster says, Dirt, I'll lay a point and a half with the Grizz, and I'll double down and go the money line. Minus 120 at BetMGM. It's MGM, you so? moron. God. He can't, he can't pronounce anything. He's dancing in the studio. The longer I listen to my surrogate son, the angrier I get, Chelsea. Yeah, he's got to pipe down that dancing because he is an inflatable donkey. Mm -hmm. So the moves aren't necessarily the best. His legs are just kind of flailing around. Uh, he's got to get some better moves in the arsenal. When the donkey dances, he just takes a small step to his left. That's not a dance, Donkster. That is you just moving your leg. So I don't want to hear you celebrating in your head with donkey dance music again just because you laid minus 245 with the Yankees or whatever it is. You got to do more to impress your father than that, Donkster. Am I right, Chelsea? Have you ever done a donkey kick where you like kick up your back two legs? I think that's like an exercise in some CrossFit class, and it's really yeah, my... embarrassing to do in public, so... Chelsea, this is going to surprise you. No, I have never done a donkey <laughs> kick should. where both legs just shot out from under me and I fell on my face.